Hello everyone, today you can uh, uh, check uh, where are you at, uh, in what place mentally, emotionally, uh, physically and spiritually, or where the other person is, okay? We will do only three piles uh, because this is extensive reading, but uh, keep in mind that this is uh, general uh, for... Um, uh, you know, uh, general public, general reading for uh, um, maybe more than just one person. It's not uh, personal. And this spread is uh, quite personal. So it can uh, give you a lot of details about uh, where you're currently at, which is important to know uh, so that you can know uh, how to uh, go forward. Okay, so we will choose from three cards, let's say, to be uh, pile number one, pile number two, pile number three. So pick your pile, uh, think about uh, you or the person that uh, you are interested in, how are they doing, and we will open uh, cards for each pile, okay? So starting with the first pile, We will see um, cards for the first pile. Uh, so this uh, person is uh, on uh, some uh, kind of uh, uh, healing journey. Uh, mentally, uh, they are um, preparing themselves uh, for uh, better things, uh, meaning um, uh, they are getting more generous to, uh, you know, be able to uh, be inspired by other people and uh, also to inspire other people so mentally they are very flexible and uh, open to um, thoughts of others and also uh, open to uh, teach show learn others so basically when it comes to their mental state they are very open and uh, they are, uh, how to say, um, open to share their thoughts with others and also to be able to acknowledge uh, other people's uh, thoughts. So they are very fluid. They are very, um, you know, uh, uh, flowing with their mental state. It's, it's not uh, narrow-minded. It's uh, wide open. When it comes to their emotional state, uh, basically uh, they are um, friendly. They are, again, open. Uh, they are um, maybe in the beginning of something, uh, some new relations. It can be uh, friendships. It can be in the sense of the lovers. Uh, but uh, emotionally, they are maybe uh, also at a position with uh, the people surrounding them uh, in a way that they are putting some boundaries and uh, also learning more about their own dislikes and likes and what they uh, are willing to accept emotionally from other people. Physically, uh, they are like a <laughs> newborn <laughs> with the Ace of Pentacles. They are uh, putting some um, new foundation for their health and starting over. Maybe there was some illness, maybe there was uh, something difficult before, I don't know. Uh, but uh, they are uh, um, coming through uh, some new door, meaning they are in recovery, I mean, uh, maybe they already went through some kind of recovery or maybe they are just uh, at the beginning of 
of building their uh, physical health uh, better. But uh, with the Ace of Pentacles, it's uh, telling me that it's a good um, um, physical health. Now for the spirituality, we have Queen of Pentacles. Uh, which uh, is very material card so uh, possibly they are not uh, uh, putting their focus on spirituality at this time at all we have all earth here in in three spheres uh, it's earth so uh, they are probably more materialistic uh, inclined and uh, not uh, so much concerned about their uh, spiritual uh, connections at this time. So let's see more about um, Two of Cups. Uh, message is more straightforward for the personal readings it it comes straightforward because it's about one particular person this is much more broader perspective including a couple of people Uh, so basically, when it comes to their emotion, there was some troubling time uh, before with the tower. Maybe some relationships, some uh, friendships, some connections were departed. And the uh, person uh, just turned to themselves. And uh, now they're uh, changing their tactics and their strategy when it comes to communicating and relating to others. Be it those uh, friendships, friends or uh, romantic partners uh, so that's why I said maybe they are in a position where they they are surrounding emotionally because uh, already they went through some difficult times uh, maybe they uh, um, had a lot to say uh, in some um, close uh, relations and uh, they weren't able to communicate everything they are feeling uh, quite clearly and uh, some of the relationships suffer for that um, so they are rethinking on how to approach uh, uh, different people but um, in this sense it's only talking about relational emotional state not how they themselves are feeling uh, just in relation to other people is what uh, this is showing us. Okay, let's see about the Six of Pentacles. Their mental state. Again, coming to themselves, I don't know. Uh, so basically with the mental state, uh, it shows that uh, they are very much uh, um, open with the Seven of Cups again. Uh, but um, mm, uh, they are trying to uh, protect themselves uh, protect themselves from many different uh, options and thoughts so it's a little bit contradictory to what I said here that they are flexible uh, maybe um, everything uh, is influencing them mentally too much so they are trying with the page of rods to go inward and uh, uh, take all of these thoughts from different people and uh, see what uh, they can use what uh, is in in uh, alignment with them and what is it's not because uh, there 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 is um impression uh that uh, a lot of uh, this openness um and sharing uh, back and forward with other mentally with the thoughts is uh, making them uh, uh, more confused uh, basically, so they are also uh, kind of uh, trying to defend themselves from different influences. So maybe they are free flowing and open minded, but in the same way, it uh, is making them. Uh, 
indecisive, not knowing what to do, not knowing what to think, how to think. So they're trying a little bit also to uh, pick and choose from uh, all of the influ influences and uh, try to make uh, some of them their own and uh, see what is uh, uh, good for them, what is not. Okay, let's see about the physical. Uh, so there is choice to be made. Uh, Ace of Pentacles is a card of uh, potential. Um, they uh, have a world in their uh, palm, but they would need uh, physically to, uh, you know, uh, collaborate with uh, other people to move to the better uh, place uh, regarding their health. It's doing good, it's doing better than before, uh, but again maybe some transition is just starting with Ace of Pentacles. Transition to uh, better health and uh, feeling much stronger, feeling much more vitality, uh, joyful and uh, happy. Let's see about the spirituality. Yes, spiritually they are closed off. Uh, they are not considering actually their sp spirituality at all. Uh, they are frozen in this sense. Uh, they are uh, refusing uh, some um, gifts of love that are given to them uh, through people from their past, through um, people from their uh, childhood or maybe some friends that are bringing that uh, youthful energy uh, in their life. Uh, maybe those are people that they didn't agree emotionally before uh, here with the tower uh, because now they are cutting them off out of their life and they are focusing more of the material side of the um, uh, life, uh, you know, like worldly things and uh, private business and so on, building their physical health and so on. Uh, but they are a little bit um, uh, harsh towards their own feelings and uh, towards uh, receiving intimacy uh, from other people, uh, probably because of... Uh, mm, everything they uh, couldn't uh, communicate with others regarding their feelings before and uh, again they are in some confrontation emotionally with others but that is because here it's shown that emotionally uh, within the, their selves they are uh, building barriers not to listen uh, to the spiritual side or portion of themselves in this uh, uh, particular phase in their life. So they are not very much connected with those, um, um, with their inner child and, uh, you know, those um, um, needs of their emotions at all. Okay, that would be it for the first option. And we will need to a little bit I forgot what was the card for the second option okay second option second pile let's see about you or the person you are thinking of Whatever you chose. For the second pile. mentally, emotionally, physically, and 
spiritually so uh, mentally uh, they are basically recovering so from some mental uh, difficulties possibly mental health uh, issues and uh, this is a long-lasting uh, tra the transition they are trying to uh, basically get better and uh, not go into extremes uh, in uh, any um, direction uh, particularly just uh, they're trying to uh, hold their uh, head above the water so to say um, so they're trying to you know uh, go beyond um, and uh, they go beyond their um, patterns mental patterns and thoughts that uh, they are having and uh, be more um, balanced be more grounded and uh, be more peaceful uh, within themselves emotionally we have um, earth uh, earth card so it's showing uh, making some effort to cope with their emotions it's not showing emotions themselves but uh, they are possibly working on uh, trying to feel better in their life um, as it is uh, shown uh, with the mental state uh, but then we will see with the other cards physically uh, they are not uh, concentrating on their physical health they are only concentrating on their feelings emotions their heart their on recovery and spiritually um, they uh, uh, feel like that uh, they done uh, whatever they could to do in the situation whatever the situation is and now they are just waiting um, the return on everything they were building and they were uh, creating in their life so let's see more oh not that much more just uh, three cards perich perich sphere of life so let's see first emotionally So why are they rebuilding emotionally? They, they had a person, very author authoritative, uh, dominant and oppressive person that uh, bring them a lot uh, of uh, these uh, mental health issues, uh, uh, problems in their life. And this is something they are trying to change and to uh, transfer from emotionally and mentally those two positions are very connected and uh, it uh, includes some oppressive uh, structure uh, it can be with the emperor some you know like uh, institution some school and it can be only one very dominant uh, dominating uh, person that is uh, uh, very um, um, manipulative with their own mind uh, emperor is someone who is uh, going always uh, through their reason and uh, using emotions very very slightly almost not at all uh, in some cases so uh, that kind of influence was uh, in their life uh, for i don't know how long it doesn't show but with the empress it show long uh, temperance not the empress the temperance it shows long longevity it shows uh, a long time uh going through these uh, mental health issues and this card is about mental health also so 
uh, possibly there is some influence for a longer period of time that they are trying to, uh, with that card, uh, transform and uh, rebuild themselves uh, emotionally. So again, we do not uh, see anything specific about how they are feeling and how they are doing emotionally, except that this is uh, mostly what they are interested in when it comes to their physical reality. And... Um, uh, that they are at some new beginnings, just uh, um, trying to recover, trying to forgive, trying to let go something, uh, uh, to cut something uh, that went on before and that were causing them this uh, mental distress and to rebuild with the tree. Okay, so this is what we see there. So let's see about the mental state so this person mentally uh, possibly is trying to go from uh, too much overthinking with the tempers as well with the tempers and the two of swords <clears throat> yes so mental health two two tens and one five uh, they are trying to simplify things for themselves and uh, to learn more about uh, uh, their uh, mental state and to teach others about how to cope with uh, such things uh, but nevertheless uh, some connection or relationship or some influence maybe this was their partner father uh, husband I don't know because we have a relationship here someone a significant a significant influence um, uh, uh, gave them a lot of burden uh, maybe they are under burden regarding uh, some uh, a concrete marriage if the person is married to their uh, husband for example uh, or wife doesn't matter the gender you can just uh, switch it whatever the situation is uh, but if not then just uh, uh, oppressed by uh, uh, you know traditional uh, structural things like uh, um, again um, things that would be considered uh, normal so they are burdened mentally that's why i said maybe they are struggling with overthinking struggling to uh, take back uh, balance and uh, ground themselves more so let's see about the emotions about the physical <laughs> i'm looking at the ace of cups and i'm thinking emotions but uh, this is the physical sphere uh, mostly they are interested uh, in processing their emotions when it comes to their physical state all the fire yes uh, they are uh, trying to move forward emotionally to the better place and uh, they are using all of their creativity to make this uh, happen so we have uh, both knight and king of rods which is uh, a fire fire um, air fire so a lot of masculine energy uh, pushing forward um, in their physical sphere to get better emotionally so in this uh, person's reading, uh, they're very connected with uh, uh, their uh, mental issues to uh, emotional issues. Um, going to the physical sphere, they are trying to get rid of the this mental emotional oppression that was happening before. Uh, this uh, particular um, uh, mental distress uh here uh, this p particular emotional burden here uh, so it is very intertwined uh, and uh, they are trying to move past that and uh, get better physically but again there is not much about their physical health as it is except that they are going to transition uh, to feel uh, better and to be more um 
uh, creative, more, you know, um, opposite opposite dead and burden how to say liberated <laughs> i don't know okay so let's see uh spiritually So again, three and seven, same story is uh, told here. Uh, they were building something. They are awaiting the results. Uh, the results are not uh, coming so much. So they are trying to uh, push forward uh, with uh, uh, something completely new. Uh, a lot of uh, new beginnings and uh, um, efforts to rebuild themselves here in uh uh, each sphere for uh, this particular person uh, so uh, they are in tune with the queen of cups with their own spirituality but they feel like they have to defend their position uh, against I don't know what because I don't I don't see oppressor the only one oppressor here I see is the emperor and the hierophant here which again can be particular person or uh, just a uh, conglomerate of things in their life so they are trying to um, uh, be in um, uh, tune with their spirituality uh, but uh, not so much moving forward in that area uh, for um, physical health uh, yes for emotional health yes for mental health uh, uh, trying to even though it's most hardest uh, but uh, in the spiritual uh, sense uh, they are much um, uh, still attached to what uh, happened before and didn't pan out uh, so um, not actually succeeding to move uh, forward in in that area uh, but uh, considering to do so uh, still in um, uh, in contact with their uh, intuition empathy and you know their sensitivity their uh, spiritual side which is also show with the temperance here so all in all uh, pretty good like I would say some recovery state <laughs> Uh, that's that for the second pile. Okay, let's see for the third pile. I knew the third one will be too much for me. I'm already so thirsty. Let me just drink some water. Okay, welcome third pile. So let's see about you or the person you are thinking about. In general, what we can say, this reading is very good as a private reading. This spread, I mean. For the pile three 
let's say about mental, emotional, physical and spiritual. Okay. Mentally they are struggling. Emotionally they are not honest. Physically they are defensive. And spiritually they are inspired. So again we have some uh, something that needs to be uh, over and done with but they are feeling some sadness with this uh, five and uh, not uh, feeling like they didn't get the justice so they are still uh, focused on the past uh, basically but uh, mentally they are uh, uh, how to say at the end of the road basically with the world card uh, everything is overwhelming and too much for them Emotionally, we have uh, swords, so it doesn't show uh, emotions except that they are being uh, dishonest to themselves or other people when it comes to their emotions. Seven of uh, fire uh, regarding their uh, physical uh, uh, state is showing that they are trying to overcome any difficulties if there is any physical. <coughs> If there is any physical difficulties, they are uh, doing uh, best to overcome them one issue by the time. I don't see the issues, but even if they are just trying to be uh, physically more fit, let's say, they are doing exercises in that sense. But if they have having um, health issues, then they are uh, resolving one issue at a time regarding their physical uh, health. And uh, spiritually, this is just the beginning, this is just the potential. They are not much in tune with their spirituality, except they are uh, getting inspired to do so. Uh, but to be able to do uh, that, first of all, they would uh, have to get uh, clear with their emotions um, with uh, themselves, because uh, here it uh, shows that they are not truthful uh, even to themselves when it comes to their own emotional state so possibly they don't even know how they are doing emotionally uh, except to be polite and uh, tell to you or to others i'm fine everything is good okay i'm already so tired from previous readings so let's just get straight into the more about this situation so listen there is a uh, possibly if this person is in some relationship uh, or they are putting on hold some other partner, they are blocking someone emotionally and uh, they are uh, not, uh, their heart is not open. Maybe they also have some heart tissues physically. Uh, so basically, um, that's why we see seven here. If they are uh, single or not uh, with uh, anyone, they are blocking flow of uh, some um, person they can emotionally connect to with this uh, dishonesty about uh, their emotional state so for their emotional state everything is on pause everything is hidden because they are not them, them themselves open uh, to connect with uh, others so their connection could be um, much more uh, physical Okay, mentally they are overwhelmed, but let's see more about that. Over, over, overwhelmed, overstressed, overworked. Yes, overworked. 
possibly as a house wife or husband, uh, possibly in the marriage, uh, possibly in some uh, structure, structured uh, environment. Uh, this could be marriage, but this can be also, you know, their own, if they're not connected to anyone, if they're not in a relationship, this could be regarding their, uh, you know, personal business, private business that they're having, house business, you know, not working for anyone else, but being uh, mentally overwhelmed uh, in that sense. So it could be related to the work or directly a long-term partner, but uh, again, emotionally, they are not uh, clear and um, um honest in this relationship not that they are dishonest to other person uh, on purpose they are not just with themselves open emotionally they are blocked so they are not able to be uh, uh, honest uh, emotionally to their partner even and uh, they are very much mentally focused on their uh, business and uh, their money and uh, material side of the life. So they're possibly overbooked, overwhelmed mentally completely. So that's that. Let's see about uh, physical. This went like this. So maybe they are not aware that uh, this uh, relationship of or connection, emotional connection with others is doing so bad. Uh, but uh, they are uh, rejecting any kind of uh, opportunity uh, to uh, directly speak about with the tower card and resolve their issues uh, when it comes uh, to uh, their health, uh, which is very much connected to this uh, closed heart here, here and blocked heart and blocked emotions. Uh, so they are not willing to discuss uh, to take any opportunity to discuss openly with uh, other people, uh, other persons in their life, to put some boundaries or maybe to um, not be so demanding, depending on which sector they are. Either they are too demanding or they are not able to put the boundaries, whatever the case is. But because this card flew out like this, they are maybe not even aware that the issue and the oppression lies with uh, some uh, particular uh, other person, someone who is opposite than them. So it can be their partner, male, male or female, or it can be their spouse, male or female, or it can be in general a relation to other people that is emotionally uh, not, not doing good and it's influencing uh, their um, physical state, maybe their health. Uh, but like I said, uh, uh, they are trying to do everything by them themselves to overcome issue one by one or never mind. Maybe they are asking help from, from other people as well to overcome the issues or to reach their goals in a physical sense when it comes to their health and so on but uh, in reality there is opportunity for them to uh, be open and uh, share their emotion and uh, speak everything as it is clearly honestly honestly uh, but they are not doing that they are even not aware that they are not uh, honest with other people it can also influence their, their health, especially if, if they have some heart diseases or issues. Okay, and then spiritually. So 
so uh, they are just uh, discovering uh, basically from the group of people uh, about uh, some emotions, how to be uh, connected uh, to uh, things that are deep hidden with the, within them. So we have this inspiration spiritually, but this is just the beginning. Uh, they are not not connected to their uh, deeper knowing uh, but they are learning about it from maybe group of friends uh, uh, that are uh, maybe much more uh, spiritually inclined and connected themselves so that is all that we have for this reading thank uh, uh, you everyone that participated and please uh, uh, send me an email if you want a particular personal uh, reading uh, um, for you uh, to see everything what's going on with you or with other person uh, mentally emotionally spiritually and physically in much more detail and much more specifically when it comes to the private readings just send me an email it's uh, in the box below the video and it will cost you 20 30 dollars bye